this Thanksgiving. Expectations are high, but budgets, as we all know, are low. So we called in a chef who knows all about feeding a table full of hungry people with just a couple of dollars. Melissa D'Arabian is host of $10 Dinners on the Food Network and a mom who cooks for her four young girls every single day. And as our chef on a shoestring, her challenge, whip up a Thanksgiving feast for eight with all the trimmings for under $80. Great to see you, Melissa. Well, thanks for having me. And we're so happy to have you, especially, you know, this holiday when budgets are so tight. Well, that's exactly right. The thing to remember is the most important ingredient at your table is you. Mm. It's your family and your friends. So, you know what? Take the stress off a little bit, and you can have some fabulous food for not a lot of money. But you know what? Don't stress about it. Yeah. It's more important that you be there and available to your guests and that you have a really nice time. So right now you're prepping for this turkey, which is... That's exactly right. As I understand it, a garlic-scented turkey. That's exactly right. What's great about the roasted garlic, I'm going to put garlic cloves inside the turkey. Mm. And what's great there is I'm going to get a lot of flavor out of just regular garlic just by treating the ingredient differently. Okay. Roasting it is going to make it really nutty. So that's going to give me extra flavor for no extra money. Okay, so I see you have a couple of other ingredients here. What are we doing with that? That's all of exactly these? right. Okay, I'm taking some fresh herbs. By the way, fresh herbs for Thanksgiving is a place I think you want to splurge. Yeah. Because, you know, just for a couple bucks, you're going to get the main flavors of your turkey. So just give it a little bit of a chop to some rosemary and to some sage. Now, the good news about rosemary is, is it grows really well, so you can grow it year round mm. in your backyard for free if you want to. And you're adding that to this mayo. Is some butter. Oh, butter. Okay, yeah, it looks it's just, like mayo. It, yeah, it's whippy butter, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, yeah. you know, you want it to be room temperature so that you can rub it all over the turkey. So that's where we're going that's with all this. That's exactly. Very we're, exciting. We're headed to a turkey. A <laughs> little bit of salt and pepper and some granulated garlic just to have some on the outside mm -hmm. to play off the roasted garlic flavor that's going to be on the inside of the turkey. So you put this all together, you mix it up, and then mm -hmm. you start putting it on the outside. How long before you cook the turkey do you want to put the outside, the exterior together? Well, what you want to do is you want to salt and pepper your turkey for about an hour. Should I start doing yeah, that? Well, you can do it. Okay. Okay. Although we won't wait an hour. I love to work. Yeah, talk among <laughs> yourselves. We'll be back in an hour with the turkey. But, you know, if you can bring your turkey out to room temperature for an hour, you're mm -hmm. going to get a moister turkey. So, yeah, perfect. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper it. Let it sit at the on the counter for about an hour. And then Wipe we'll go ahead. On. Yeah, and then we'll put this on. Now, I want to check the oven because I think in the oven we have the finished product. Oh, you do? Oh, well, then, well, then what am I even doing? This is our finished product. Oh, Once you've taken that's everything, perfect. you've stuffed it inside, it looks like with the lemons, the garlic, that's and then exactly you Rubbed right. it down. This is your final look. Yes, it's really so this, nice. This is By on the, the outside. Way. This is on the inside, and then this is what it ends up looking like after it's cooked. Okay, so we have our turkey. Yeah. Let's go to our sides. Oh. Well, sides are, are fabulous. This looks as, amazing, by the way. As you can see, I've taken a two-for-one approach on the yams and the mashed potatoes. Okay. Because that way I get one dish and I get two two items out there. And you know what? At our house, no one was eating those yams. Oh, yeah. So I have mostly potatoes and then a little bit of yam. So you can see I just have a little bit of yam but more potatoes. You and boiled that? I boiled this up for about 20 minutes till they're nice and soft. And if there's a little extra... You know, liquid in there, that's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Let me show you a trick. Okay. Use a wire mesh strainer, just like this one, and then just press, just press your potatoes through. And what are we accomplishing by well, this? Well, what you're doing is you're emulating a potato ricer, which is a piece mm. of equipment that a lot of people don't have. It's going to give you a perfect textured potato. It's going to be nice and creamy and not gloppy. And then that meshed potato and yam is going to marble. And all you need to do is add in a little bit of butter and some milk. And I like yogurt. It gives it a little oh, bit of tang. interesting. Yeah. And out comes this. This is our finished product That's with exactly the potatoes right. and yams. Let's talk stuffing. Oh, fabulous stuffing. Now, there's all this uproar about not putting your stuffing in the turkey mm -hmm. because of safety reasons. But, you know, I've got a better reason not to do it. Well, two. One is um, you have to cook the turkey so much longer, so you end up drying out the breast meat hmm. if you stuff the turkey. So my turkey's moister because I can pull back on the cooking time. The second thing is, you know what? Don't we all need our, our oven space? And I always have that extra <laughs> bit of stuffing that goes on the side. Yes. I found a great way of taking the roasted garlic from the cavity of the turkey and putting it into my 
my stuffing and Ooh, making yum. it on the stove. And what's our last? I see we have this purple cabbage over yes, here. Yes, I've got purple cabbage here. That's sauteed with apples, which is a really nice idea to have some uh, acid so mm. that it breaks through the richness. And then over here, I've got a raw kale salad, which is, by the way, a fantastic winter vegetable. It's so cheap. Do you know that a big thing of, of kale is like a dollar in really? the winter? I yeah, even in New York City. I had no idea. Yeah, I know. A dollar. And then kale? finally, dessert to your well, left. Well, I have a homemade apple tart. It only takes a few dollars to put together, and I have actually come up with a challenge to make my homemade apple tart, including the crust, in 10 minutes. Now, that's mm. going into the oven. It's we like, like you know, that. It's an hour in the oven, but 10 minutes, crust, apples, everything. Love it. All yeah. right, guys. We Let's have to. It. Yeah, you guys start cutting in. We also have to tell the viewer it's time so now for everyone to decide what's on our menu for next week. Here are your choices. For a one pot fish bake, call Star Star Zero One. For pasta with sausage and clams, call Star Star Zero Two. Remember, you don't have to text, you just have to dial here. And for chili glazed steak, simply call Star Star Zero Three. Standard data and message rates apply. And Melissa, we so appreciate you being with us. You've done oh, a great job here. Thank don't forget, you. you can find all of her recipes and all of our recipes online at cbsnews.com slash Saturday.